channel my name is chastity here we talk about beauty and shame and celebrities books movies anime tv shows and anything else that garners my attention this week so happy black history month do not forget to support black creatives you should be supporting black creatives every month but this month in particular give them a lot of extra love whether it's youtubers artists twitch streamers whatever black person is doing please do not forget to support them now before we get into today's video um I'm gonna need a lot of support and validation about my makeup because I tried really really hard to do hearts on my eyes and it took an embarrassingly amount of time it, it did it truly truly did and I need everyone to tell me how nice it is thank you also my friend Jasmine has a webtoon called Kaleidoscope and recently it has been turned into a tapas original so if you have not checked out Kaleidoscope I will have a link to it in my description box below I would really appreciate if you guys check it out it's filled with beautiful black people magic time travel murder listen Kaleidoscope has it all and you will not regret reading it and today we are talking about Tasha K and Cardi B because this whole situation just like tickles me and like fascinates me and like uh, it's it's crazy actually it's really really crazy so if you're unaware of who tasha k is she is a youtuber slash blogger she's definitely more in the celebrity commentary you know gossipy side of youtube um before all this happened she was well over a million subscribers and i will say that like her setup for how she makes her videos and films is very nice very professional you definitely tell that like a lot of her youtube money goes into the appearance of her videos you can very much so tell that and tasha k is one of those people that if she is running a story on you she is going to interview anybody with even a iota of connection to you She's going to interview your mama. She's going to interview your second grade teacher. She's going to interview the girl to your nails. She's going to interview the person that works at your local Chinese food spot. Anybody with any form of connection and has a story about you, Tasha K will contact and will have on her channel. Okay, like, if Tasha K going to make a story, she going to make a story. If there is somebody, anybody that she can talk to, she's going to talk to them. That's the type of person she is. She honestly frightens me she scares me i'm not even gonna hold you just the fact that she's just willing to do anything and everything to like get a story whether it's true or not she gonna do it for the past three years tasha k has seemingly had a vendetta against cardi b when i tell you i think from the court case it said that she's made about 40 videos on cardi b alone and that's insane Okay, look, as someone that makes content, talking about one specific thing for 40 videos is insanity. And in a lot of these videos, um, Tasha K is lying. She's lying. She's making up stories. One of the most prominent ones being that Cardi B has herpes. The thing about Cardi B is she has done so much messed up things in her past and in her present that it really doesn't make any sense why you would just lie and make up stories you could talk about the fact that Cardi is a colorist you talk about the fact that she is called black women roaches there's a lot of things that you could pull Cardi's card on so to lie truthfully and honestly makes no sense but that's what Tashke has been doing she has been making up stories and attacking Cardi B for the past three years and before we even got to the court case Cardi B had sent out three cease and desist asking her to stop and saying that she really does not want to go to court because we're both two mothers I just want you to stop talking about me and Tasha K said I don't give a fuck I'm gonna keep talking about you and that's how we landed in court which again this should have never gotten to court someone sends you three cease and desist please cease and desist Please, 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 please. Because again, I am not a Cardi B stan. I'm truly, truly not. There are so many things you can drag Cardi B for. And I have no problem with that. But you should not be lying on people. Because of this, because of the lying, 
Um, Cardi B has been viciously attacked on social media because of Tasha K's lies to the point where, like, because of the herpes situation, um, Cardi couldn't even post a picture of her kissing her daughter. The whole comment section was, why would you do that? You're giving your daughter herpes, yada, yada, yada. During the trial, Cardi even spoke about the fact that those three years were some of her darkest times, that, like, she's been through so much. But the vicious attacks of Tasha K put her in a very dark spot and she said like during her pregnancy with her second child she was very suicidal because of everything involving Tasha K and during the trial um Cardi B had submitted her test results to the court proving that she does not have herpes and here's the thing when she presented that information to the court and the judge looked at it he then turned to Tasha K and said you might want to settle this out of court because the main thing that she was pushing was that Cardi B had herpes and the test results prove she's never had herpes. Instead of being smart and settling out of court, Tasha K wanted to go on with the trial like a dummy, like a dummy. On top of that, the lawyer that um, Tasha K had is actually a criminal lawyer they don't specialize in this type of in these types of cases i assume why tosh k got this lady is because when she went to lawyers that actually do deal with the situation they saw the facts and they said i'm not gonna lose a case because when you look at the facts there was no way tosh k was gonna was gonna win especially when in court she got on stand and said, she got on the stand and said that lying about Cardi B is her job. There is a recording of her speaking to another YouTuber saying that she lies about Cardi B. Like, it's bad. Like, I, I truthfully don't understand why admitting that you lie about her on stands when you could have just said that word. That don't make sense to me. Wh why? We just find out so much about Tasha K during this trial. And just, again, her willingness to do whatever it takes to make a video, including lying and making up stories. Again, there's so much to talk about Cardi B. There, there truly is of truthful, honest things that you could drag her for. Why lie? And then why go to court and get on stand and say that you be lying? That don't make no sense to me. So last week, the trial ended between Tasha K and Cardi B. And Tasha K was found liable, which is basically just saying defamatory things about somebody. And Cardi B was then awarded $4 million. <laughs> which, why did we not settle outside court? And I fully understand why she was awarded the four million dollars of damages because in these three years tasha k has been terrorizing cardi b again saying that she had herpes saying that she was a prostitute saying that her child was going to be born with disabilities and saying that she was going to give her child herpes like so many blatantly disgusting things that again could not be proven on her social media i'm talking about because it went beyond just youtube like she was talking about her on instagram to the point that like her instagram at one point got taken down for bullying because she was saying outlandishly horrific things about cardi b and again this is not to say that cardi b is a saint but don't lie on people tasha k on the stands literally admitted that she knowingly lied in these videos and that she kept these lies up because they were making her a lot of money. And she said that if Cardi B would have paid her how much, you know, she would have lost by taking down the videos, she would have done it. And she admitted to thinking it was funny to create these lies about somebody. Like, there is something seriously wrong with this woman and then on social media i saw so many people saying that like cardi b was abusing her power by taking tasha k to court that she was attacking a black woman here goes cardi b attacking another black woman and something is wrong with you people because you cannot lie 
on people. You simply cannot do that. And the thing is, Cardi B did not want to go to trial. She has reached out to her privately multiple times. She sent multiple cease and desist because she never wanted to get to the point of trial. But it was looking like Tasha K was never going to stop. Tasha K literally said it made her so much money to lie on her. So why would she stop lying? So for Cardi B, the only thing she could do was take it to court. Because what else do you do when you've spoken to someone and you've sent cease and desist and they have not stopped? What, what is she supposed to do? Since y'all are so smart, tell me what she was supposed to do. And don't be a dummy and say get Tasha K touched. D don't be stupid. Don't be dumb. So after the trial, Tasha K had made a response video to this whole situation. And that video pissed me off. I ain't gonna hold you. Because during the entire video, Tasha K is trying to turn herself into a martyr. That she's standing up for not just herself, but for her people, her fellow journalists and bloggers. She's standing up for free speech. It's like, no, you're not. You're not standing up for free speech. You're standing up for the ability to be able to lie on people and defame them. There's no free speech in this. Free speech does not mean you get to lie on niggas. That's not what free speech means. Like in the video, she states that she's up against the machine and that the machine is pushing drugs and prostitution, all these horrible things. Okay, what does that have to do? about you lying about cardi b having herpes what does that have to do with you making 40 videos filled with lies again you see what i'm saying she's trying to turn herself into a martyr throughout this entire video tasha k refuses to take any accountability for her actions for any of her lies no it's not about that she is trying to turn herself into a martyr for free speech. And it's like, there is no free speech in maliciously lying for monetary gain. That is not free speech. You are knowingly lying and saying this woman has herpes, that she's going to give her child herpes. You're fighting for the right to be a disgusting person. You're fighting for the right to knowingly lie. Now, in situations like this, when you're suing a person and not a corporation, on average, most people never really see the money that they're owed. And I don't really think Cardi B cares about that. I don't think she sued um, Tasha K for the money. I really don't think Cardi B cares that she'll never see that $4 million. She sued her so she could fucking stop. Okay, because again, three cease and desist letters, three of them hoes, still made 40 videos. She just wanted Tasha K to stop. And honestly, this was the best way for that to happen. I think people were saying that Tasha K could never afford to pay that back. But thinking how big her channel is, the views she gets, I do think it would be possible for her to pay it back. I don't think she will. If she's smart, you know, she'll file for bankruptcy. I mean, I don't know which title, but whichever the one that rich people be doing, so they don't have to pay back um, people they owe, she'll probably do that. But again, I don't think Cardi B really cares about getting money. She wants the videos and the harassment to stop, okay? Because, like, did I say that, like, um, Natasha K was referring to her as Herpes B? Like, are you fucking kidding me? She, listen, Cardi B is not pressed for the money, but she is pressed to get her to fucking stop. It's in the United States, um, journalists and bloggers have a lot of right. That's why celebrity gossip can run the way it does. And that's why you don't see a lot of celebrities suing for defamation. Because it's extremely difficult to prove. Because you have to prove this person knowingly lied, knew what they were saying were lies. That is hard. Because how do you prove what someone knows? But of course, as we see here, Cardi was able to do it because Tasha K literally said, I lied on uh her. -huh. It makes me money. But it is very hard for celebrities to normally do this because... 
the law is on the side of the journalist or the blogger because celebrities are not private citizens. You can't run stories and lies on private citizens, but you can, for the most part, say a lot of wild shit about celebrities. Again, that's why you don't see celebrities suing for defamation. It very rarely happens and very rarely do they win. This was a very particular case because Tasha K admitted to lying like a dummy and because Cardi B submitted her medical records to the court proving that Tasha K was a motherfucking liar. But normally this shit don't happen because again the law is on the side of the journalist not the celebrity and you can lie and make up shit to an extent. You can't just outright do what Tasha K did but you know you can gossip about celebrities you can talk about celebrities in a ways you can't talk about private citizens but tasha k had to do the utmost fucking most again lie about somebody that is already messy and then went to court and did not settle out it, it boggles my mind that she really believed that she was going to win i don't know what her lawyers were telling her not the truth they was definitely not telling her the truth to make her believe that she was going to win this case. It is ridiculous. It truly, truly is. But yeah, that's it for me. What are your guys' thoughts and opinions on this whole Tasha K, Cardi B situation? Do you believe it was wrong for Cardi B to sue Tasha K for lying on her? Do you also agree with Tasha K that she is a fucking freedom fighter? I'm sorry. I hate when people do fuck shit and then want to be black power. Like, no, you did some dumb shit. Now you're caught up for it. No, stop it. Um, but yeah, what are your thoughts and opinions on the whole situation? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.